Hey guys, bringing you another video of Versus Battles. I like showing these, at least select ones, because I think it gives us an idea of what's working, what's not working. And in this one, we're going to look at a couple of bases that stumped our guys, so um, there might be things we could copy. So let's get rolling. So here's Bay in one of his first attacks with his brand new battle machine. He's going to come in from the south here with giants and the battle machine. Sometimes the giants are going to tank for the battle machine. Sometimes the battle machine is going to tank for the giants. Actually, pretty nice combo. You can tell the battle machine doesn't particularly like a cannon, a double cannon, and a Tesla, and it melts pretty quickly under that fire. But still, he's going to get in the 70s here. And this was a versus battle that Bay won. Warcraft is the other person in our clan with a battle machine. So here we're going to watch him put it to good use. Two camps of giants and archers to back them up. He's bringing the battle machine in late in this attack. I think a party wants to make sure he keeps it away from the crusher. But he's got his giants and archers ahead of the battle machine, taking a lot of the damage. Those giants are taking a lot of the damage. And the battle machine's coming in behind him. And while the defenses are targeting the giants, the battle machine is just thumping everything. Actually, the battle machine's attack mode reminds me a little bit of a hog rider. Here's one Lorner posted before he left. This is a very rushed Builder Hall 5. He's going to first try to snipe some of the defenses from outside the base, outside the walls. And then he's going to use that big gap in the north and just roll on into the base with his two giants and archers behind him and see how far he can get. And he actually gets pretty far. So, you know, always nice to beat a Builder Hall 5, particularly when you're a Builder Hall 4. Here he is, he's still got both giants and five archers. And there goes the three star. And here's Nick in a versus battle, grabbing a nice three star with barbs and archers. Uses the archers to take out the crusher. And then the barbs in front of the archers to roll through the base and tank for the archers since they've got a few more hit points. And on the back side of the base, there's no defenses, just a matter of getting through the wall so that they can smack down those buildings. Nice three star. And here's Pro bringing eight level eight baby dragons. Nice separation so they're all tantruming. They don't rage in the builder base, they tantrum. The air bombs are giving his babies up on the north side there a lot of grief. He's down to one, but this baby dragon just does yeoman's work on his base. And it turns out he gets a 62% and his opponent got a 61%, so he won this versus battle. This is one of Ethan's attacks that he posted as an example of a really good base that was really difficult to attack. We all see these where there are big openings in the walls inviting your troops in and you know they're full of traps. So he tries to send his troops in waves, thinking maybe he can set off the giant bombs, set off the spring traps, take out the Tesla without losing too many troops to any one trap or defense. But in the end, it doesn't work very well. So he's struggling with these bases like I am, and I still don't have a good strategy other than to try to come in from the sides that aren't open, but my troops all want to go to the openings anyway. It's really hard to get your guys to come in a corner when there's an opening just a few walls down. So that's a real good example. You might want to copy it. Here's another example of a good base design. This one River posted. He really struggled apparently trying to figure out how to attack this, decided ultimately just to try to snipe it with archers, but it just didn't work for him. The defenses tend to overlap. Most of the outside buildings are within range of the defenses. And he just couldn't get his archers in. He was trying, I think, to get into the builder hall here from the side. 
and does get an archer or two inside there, but they're still within range of that stinking archer tower. So this did not go well for him, and I've looked at it and I'm not sure how I would attack that thing either. <laughs> 